Hi, my name is Kyle Ford. Um, I graduated with my bachelor's and my master's degree in mechanical engineering from Oklahoma State University. The Army actually funded my schooling, so the Army paid for me to get these degrees in engineering. And now I work for them, which is a really great deal for me. I'm here today to speak to you a little bit about the design process. Um, something I'm very familiar with, that's what engineers do. Uh, the basic principles of engineering is, is problem solving and critical thinking. So all the schooling that I've done is basically trying to give us the tools to approach a problem in different ways so we can find the best solution. For example, I've heard that some people are working on solar cars. Uh, I've never used a, made a solar car, but it's a similar problem with anything. You're going to look at it, you're going to say, what, what are my constraints? What, what do I have to do? I have to use the power of the sun to make something roll along the ground for a certain amount of distance. If they say car, I, you're going to think four wheels. But who says it has to have four wheels? There's, there's no reason that it has to have more than you know, one. It could be one wheel. Maybe that's not a good idea. So the, uh, the design process has to start with a very creative, very fluid thinking. You need to open yourself up to all the possibilities, write them all down, make a list, maybe talk with some people about them. From there, you start to say, well, can I do that? Is it a good idea? You start narrowing it down, focus down on a couple of ideas, and really try and make a good design, maybe on some paper, maybe make a model. And then from there, you see which one's the best, and just go ahead and try it. The best way to figure out if a design's going to work is to build it and try it. Uh, no amount of education or computer modeling is going to be better than that. Don't be afraid to fail. That's one of the most important things on being successful in the design process. Is don't, be don't say, I'm not sure if this is going to work, let's just not do it. What you want to do is go do it. You'll learn just as much or more by just making a mistake than you would have by not doing it at all. <laughs> I remember I got excited one time in middle school. There was a, a science competition where it was a rubber band car, a little bit different. So you get one rubber band and you got to make a car go a certain distance. And I got real excited and I made my own little rubber band car. And it was different, I thought, than anybody else's. And I tested it at home and it seemed to work great. When I, when I showed up, it just went about two inches and stopped. And, uh, you know, and that's what happens sometimes. Sometimes if you try and do something different, uh, it doesn't always work out, but it's still worth trying. I would encourage you in your design process to, to think creatively and, and see what you can come up with because uh, I think you'll be really happy with your results regardless of what happens.